Hello, what's going on? And welcome back to the RTG. And in this episode today, we're on the search for a brand new striker to replace CR7. And well, we may have just found him. Let's go. So first things first, shortly before 6 p.m., I was on the market buying some fodder just in case if EA were to go and release the Icon SBC or the Hero, I'd be prepared. Well, it never came. So I started with 1.9 million and I'm now down to 1.7. So investing 200,000 in cards that were a little bit more than their regular market price because of the hype, I don't know what to do with it. Well, I guess I can use it for my own supply or later go and sell. But we did have content, but it was these 83 plus upgrade packs that were given out like a specific nation. And now the Germany one, well, France, England, Germany, I did pack good man, Tony, 88 rated, not too shabby, but looking at our starting 11, I didn't want to go and spend millions because of the World Cup promo that starts on Friday. So who are we going to use for this weekend as a striker that gets Kem? I'm going to get Brella and I'm going to get Edin Dzeko. We need one more win because obviously we sold Ronaldo and we don't have a striker. We need one more win in the elite division to secure rank one rewards for this Thursday. So Edin Dzeko never use and he's lengthy even on two chemistry. And then Brella might not be better than Jason Park. But if he's underperforming, we sub him out and Jason's in. 154. I lost out on ones that were like 88,000, 12,000. I think someone did list one up for 12,000 coins, but there's no chance I can beat the bots. He's worth buying to test out, and if he's not good, we sell. But 68 does seem a little expensive for a Barella that isn't getting used that much on the game. Edison, Lucio, Virgil. I thought I recognized that name. What a team. That midfield combination. Oh, that's a different side. I'll be I'll be early, early, early. And then help. Jekko. Ed in Jekko. Half a chance, half a yard. Here we go. Oh my God, you've never seen anything like it. That pass as well. Jekko. But the flag goes up. It's offside. Yes, I'm in. Edin Dzeko, what a debut in the elite division. Two shots, two goals. Oh, what played. He's got me. Dan Juma. Oh, man. He is a blast from the past. Bloody Dan Juma. Yes, Virgil. We were so close to selling Virgil. Well, now we weren't. I was never going to sell him. But after that weekend league, it wasn't looking good. Oh, Kessia. Oh, we're actually in. It's because he's trying to press, press, press. Usman Dembele, free ball. Edin Dzeko! Debut hat trick. Edin Dzeko. What a finisher so far. Like, really wonderful, wonderful finishing from this Dzeko. Three shots, three goals. Now, that is Edin Dzeko. What a debut. The best debut I think I've had in the Elite Division from a, from a single card. He's got no fans. Literally, he has no fans. They've already left. FC Nos. So, is he a Portuguese fan? The Liga Nos? Donnarumma. Ronalds. Yo, look at that team, boys. Oh... Middle. Mine. Oh! This Finney's getting actually destroyed by Virgil. And he takes a touch, like I'm gone. Oh, yes! Oh, man. You know what? Remember what we were doing with Erlen Halland? Well, we now have a more controlled Erlen Halland in the Serie A. It just means that, like, we're going to get counterattacks like this. Five in five for Edin Dzeko, and I'm not even joking. Five shots, five goals. Edison, Koulibaly, I struggle against. Erdin Haaland with Havertz up top. Uh-oh. Back heel it. And then through ball. Good play. Very nice attack. Simple. It breaks my heart. H how good he was last year, even his regular version. He's just in the midfield, doing a bit of dribbling, doing a bit of passing. Ah, oh. That's a great pull, though. Barella. 
Barella. You know, he's working hard. You know, he might not have that real ability this year, but he's working hard. But we're not asking too much from the guy. We've already got we've already got Kessier to do more of the uh, defensive work. That's a goal. Oh my, that is a goal. Erling Haaland, he's basically just like shot underneath my crossbar. Oh, free kick time, yes. Oh, too much power. No, it's looking good. It's looking fantastic. Look at this. Look at the dip on this one. Boing. There's too much momentum and power. That is actually like... Yeah, Kiba can't get that. It's like, it's around here. It just it starts really dipping. What a goal. Allison, Alaba, Virgil. Okay, it's looking more of a budget side. Well, you got a CR7, but he has come down. It's, it's fun finding the lengthy fast players, though. The actual fast players. That's it. Oh! Zah! Well played. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's what it is, but I still got the goal. Nah, he's great. I think he's onside. Yeah, wow. This is where the length comes into it. Oh, we need to bore all around that. We really do. Does he rush the pass out? Yeah, we're not doing a good job picking up his players. We're not cutting the passing lanes very well in this one. That's a good challenge, though. Really need to open up our eyes. Look what he's doing. That's nice football. Yes, go, man. And then double tap. Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's just the pass or if that's Edin Dzeko. That's a foul. <gasps> It's time, it's time, it's time. I don't, actually don't know how to score these that well from this distance. It's quite close. But we're going to go for something like that. Oh, yeah. It's way too close, I think, for the uh, Traveller type ones. Got to be mine. Yes, Walker. RBA, RBA, so much space. Jekko. Well done. No, his finishing is marvelous. It really is like the cheap R9. Like, his finishing is cracked. I wouldn't say cheap R9, but... Here we go. It's Ed in time. It's Ed in time. Oh, that was KDB. Maybe I would have scored if it was Jekko. Did you say only? Virgil strikes again, boys. Go on, Zaha. <sighs> Jesus, man. Tamori's so good. <gasps> That's a fantastic pass. I'm going to slide. No, I did slide. Yo. Is that a Traveller? Really here. here we go. It's Jekko time. Unbelievable. Definitely my weekly striker. Definitely. Definitely. How do we get Kim? Oh, I don't know. But he is 100% going to be my weekly striker. I'm not joking. Edin Dzeko is seriously good. But I'm not going to sit here and say that he's that much better on the ball than Erlen Haaland. Because I'd be lying if I, if I did. But he does feel a little bit more controlled. And the one thing that's the bonus, five-star weak foot. I know Erlen Haaland didn't really have that much issue shooting on his weaker side. But the thing with Dzeko is that you can keep everything a little bit more simple. You just dump it over the top, either slightly to the left or the right, and he's either going to use the Traveller or just a massive five-star weak foot shot back across the ball. Four matches, seven goals, two assists, and he's very clever with his movement. And that's what I noticed when I faced up against him. Before, I, I, I now prefer like these taller, bullish strikers that have a little bit of dribbling. That's my preference now. Like, Di Natale, I, I love the guy. He's so fun to use. But to be a little bit more well-rounded with your play, you need this. Especially in the division that we're in, you need someone that can either run in behind or, you know, just feel really strong to barge his way through. 
and Jekko's AI movement and just the way he supports the play for you, he's pretty good. And I'm going to use him in the weekend lane to see how he gets on because four matches, seven goals in the elite division. Surely he can, you know, put up those numbers in, well, foot champions. But the game, I must admit, now is it two, three days? It's been unbelievable and i think you're all seeing that by the goals that i'm scoring the dribbling i'm a lot more confident on the game it's just switched just like that i don't know what i've done i haven't done anything it's just back to normal which is yeah beautiful to see and brella the truth with brella is that i love the guy right I, I would love to use him but he doesn't really do that much in the midfield and when i bought his regular card originally in the 4-2-3-1 formation he wasn't great defensively, but as we're running now a 4-3-2-1, not much was asked of him. He was just sitting there, bit of passing, bit of running. But we have Kessia to do more of the uh, dog work. You've got KDB that's going to drop back and help. So Brella, he was okay, but for 70,000 coins, I don't think that's worth it. So I was considering maybe repurchasing Marquisio and playing on the hype of the new World Cup cards. And hoping that people do start panic selling. But what do you believe is the lowest point for a marquee show on the market right now? Do you think it's a good idea buying him before Friday? Or maybe we should wait a little bit? He's already down to 530,000 coins. Like, what is the lowest point for a marquee show even after the event? Like the World Cup promo. For this one anyway. Like 450, 470, somewhere around there. Like you got to consider the chemistry, how good he really is. And he's in most of like the competitive builds. And for our team right now, I think it's wonderful. You know, Zheko, I don't mind using on two. Tried and tested. He's absolutely fine. Still has his running style. And just to like secure our midfield a little bit more. I love the look of that. For our weekly squad, I think we could do really, really well with it. So what do you think? Is it a good idea buying Marquis show? Or should we wait until um, maybe a couple of days after Friday? Because that's when it's all going down. And because now I prefer these lengthy strikers, I'm looking at like, well, technically Vola, you know, the new World Cup version that he's going to receive. Vola isn't lengthy, but he just feels like maybe a Ginola in game where they're just naturally quick and they can get in behind. And he's strong. He's got good dribbling, wonderful finishing. So I'm looking at him. I like the look of Diego Forlan as well, his boosted version. So I think with the coins that we have, and that's why going into the World Cup, I wanted 1 million coins. And well, we're on 1.5, pretty much. 1.5 with Brella to sell. But then I need to buy Marquisio. If you think it's a good idea. If you don't, if you don't, what's the recommendation? Who can I replace Marquisio or, well, technically Brella with? Who can I replace Brella with right now? Because I can't get chemistry with Jason Park. It doesn't work because I need chemistry to Edin Dzeko. So really what I should do is sell Jason Park because I don't believe I'm going to use him. What do you think? Get in the comment section and I will see you boys tomorrow, half two, for a new episode. Take care. Peace.